Hello, everyone. I am Ezekiel Bruni, general tech nerd and writer, here on behalf of VPN Mentor to tell you how to watch your favorite hockey games anytime, anywhere in the world while you're traveling. So, uh, before I get into that, of course... Oh god, my cat will not stop getting on the table! <laughs> this is her. She's being a brat. Before we get into that, uh, I should probably get into how you should subscribe <laughs> totally to this channel and like the video if you find it useful and helpful. Maybe leave a comment down below with your feedback and hit that notification bell icon for all of our tips and tricks and reviews and everything related to VPNs, really. So, let's get into it. You're traveling, you're on a business trip or vacation, but you've got that hockey game coming up and you're like, darn, I don't want to miss any part of the season. So, you log on to your favorite National Hockey League approved streaming app and you see something like this. Well, yeah, that's, uh, that's an issue. So what happened? Well, every computer connected to the internet has a, an IP address. The, uh, your IP address is your identifier to the internet, period. It ha every computer has one, every server has one. That's just how it works. However, when you connect to the internet from a particular country, your IP address will be one of a range of IP addresses. So, every website or app you go to will be able to tell that, say, if you're in traveling in Mexico, that you're really in Mexico. And they, they will be able to tell if you're in the Canada or Brazil or the United Kingdom, anything. You need to trick the website or app you want to connect to that you're in one of the countries where it's allowed, where it's allowed to operate. In this case, I am looking at Star Plus which is available in Mexico where I live. However, I'm using a little trick, which I'll show you later, to, uh, to pretend that I'm not in Mexico, to show you what it's like when these sites are blocked. I'm using Star Plus specifically because I don't have an account for ESPN Plus or Hulu or any of the, the US-only sites at the moment. So how do I tell Star Plus that I really, fingers crossed, I'm in Mexico? Well, you need a VPN. The one we recommend is called ExpressVPN. We recommend it for a variety of reasons. It's great for gaming, it's great for anonymizing your traffic, because VPNs will actually encrypt your signal, or, or rather, all your internet traffic, so that um, your internet service provider can't even see what you're doing. But the most useful feature in this case is that if you direct all of your internet traffic through a VPN to an American server, for example, if you were trying to watch Hulu, or a Mexican server, since we're trying to watch Star Plus, it will, you know, think that we're in Mexico. Uh, for the purposes of this tutorial, let's pretend I'm in Canada, okay? And I'll just show you how it works. So first up, you're going to need to install ExpressVPN and set it up, and I'll just show you how that works real quick. Now I'm just going to get my camera out of the way so I can show you exactly how to set up and install and use ExpressVPN. It's quite simple, so uh, you should be able to follow along pretty easily. Obviously, you'll need to click the big green button first. Choose your payment plan, enter your email address, and then choose your preferred payment method. There are lots to choose from. And that's about it. Later on in the process, you will need to set up a username and password, but I won't be taking you through that part of the process because, well, I enjoy my privacy too. So I'm just going to skip ahead once you're logged in, you should see a button to download ExpressVPN on whatever platform you're currently using. Now, I am on Windows, obviously, so I'm just going to download it for Windows. And just save that. Uh, now, these blurred out bits are activation codes. You do sort of need those to uh, install and set up ExpressVPN. Again, I'm not showing you know the activation codes for obvious reasons, because they belong to me. But you, so your you know activation code will be different. Uh, to install, you just hit that button right there. Let's minimize this in the meantime. Wait for the installer. When you want to sign in, just click that button. Allow the program to make a few more changes to your computer. 
and then you'll need to copy and paste that activation code I didn't show you earlier. I'm just going to do that and skip ahead a little bit. Now, once you have logged in, it will ask you if you want to start the application every time Windows loads or, you know, Mac OS or whatever you're using. I do want that, so I'll just click OK. I don't want to send in data, so I don't have to. It will automatically choose the closest server for you. You should note, by the way, that you can choose servers from all over the world. You just go through here, look for a country. These are the recommended locations, of course. But you can look through all the whole world and all the over 3,000 servers. Once you have the server you want, you just hit the connect button and you're good to go. So I'm just going to click to connect. And boom, it's working. I'm connected. All right, so I showed you how to connect to a Dallas server, but that's not what we need right now. What we need is a Latin American server where Star Plus is available. The server you connect to will, of course, depend on the service you use. If you want to watch your NHL games on Hulu or ESPN Plus or I think Prime Video as well, you'll need to connect to a US server. If you want to uh, watch in your, uh, via Viaplay, you'll need to connect to a European server, one of the Nordic countries. NHL.TV is also available in a ton of countries. So that's pretty cool. But in this case, what we're looking at is a Colombian server. I told you I was going to connect to Mexico for this, but it turns out connecting from Mexico to a Mexican VPN server made something go weird. But I connected via uh, Colombia. I refreshed the page and look, it's working. I can access NHL hockey games. It takes a second, but there we go. It is working just fine. I know all that sounded a little confusing maybe, but let's remember, for the purposes of this tutorial, I was in Canada connecting to uh, Mex uh, to Colombia in this case to watch a hockey game. Because if I was in Canada, I couldn't just turn on the TV and watch it. You know what? This analogy is <laughs> going crazy. But the point is that ExpressVPN and other VPN providers work like that. You can use them to just connect to another country and go from there. So that's about it for this video. If you liked this video, please do like, subscribe, hit the bell notification icon, all that good stuff. Check the description links down below for a full review of ExpressVPN with all the tests we ran on it, all the streaming services we tested. It's very in-depth, so have a look at that. There's also a coupon page linked below, and there you can get discounts on ExpressVPN and most other major VPNs. You can get a hefty discount on the first year or first two years in some cases of your per, uh, of uh, your VPN service and that can you know save you a lot of money and that's a great option if you're on a budget all right well i had a good time making this video i hope you had a good time watching it this is Ezekiel Bruni signing out <laughs>